there's a very popular product uh, used for attaching the um, in insulation to the walls, and that's the Great Stuff foam. And there's two different kinds that you can get. There's gaps and cracks and windows and doors. Gaps and cracks will expand much further than windows and doors. So there's a use for both of them. Gaps and cracks is what we're going to be using for attaching the uh, insulation today. And I see that it does need, once the insulation is up and the gaps and cracks is around it, it does need to sit there for 12 hours to cure and to really hold it in place. So that's what okay, it's time to get some insulation up. Time to do some uh, measuring and then gluing in place. Um, so the first cut needs to be 22. Double check there. Ta da! The first piece. I know I'll get better at it and it'll get faster, but I'm kind of excited it's the first piece. Well, let's go see how this bad boy fits or doesn't fit. I'm expecting that I'm going to have to do some trimming around the corner. matters if the front goes out or if that does. Gaps and cracks. Failure to follow all directions can result in injury or death. Handle responsibly. Shake vigorously for 60 seconds. Firmly screw straw assembly into the valve and dispense slowly. Fill gaps 50%. Mist water to speed cure. Do not use for filling closed cavities or voids. I'm gonna go ahead and tape these in place. This blue tape, indispensable. Get a big package of it, four or five rolls. You'll probably use all of it. Okay, so I'll let this sit for a few minutes, so I'm gonna give it another good shake. Now, I've seen people turn this can upside down and use it spraying it that way. It doesn't say to do that on the, in, on the instructions. So, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I'm so excited. <laughs> ones are up. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and finish off this container of great stuff because I don't know that it would sit very well overnight and then be usable again and it feels like there's about a half a can left. I have bought three cans of each um, so we will see how far I get with that. I got through three of these panels with one of these box, one of these cans of great stuff, great stuff, gaps and cracks. Um, it says cracks up to one inch. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for now and let that cure. I did realize after I started this project, I did get insulation to tuck in these holes here and. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, it says on here, uh, do not take the insulation out of the package until you're ready to install. When cutting insulation, the best knife one is a serrated blade. Replace blades periodically to prevent dulling. Be sure the insulation fits well, but not overly compressed. Um, it also said on here that if you're gonna be handling it a lot, that you should be wearing a respirator and gloves because it can um, irritate your hands and your upper respiratory system. So I am going to go ahead and use my N95 mask and put some of this stuff in. So this stuff comes and tears apart fairly easy just in your hands, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got all the upper and the central um, slots done except for under under that uh, foam there and 
I used, I don't know, maybe two thirds of this roll. And it is, let's see, how long is it? Uh, 40 feet. So it has an R11 on it. The, the pink foam has an R10 on it. Um, so I'm feeling pretty accomplished today. I'm gonna go ahead and just let this sit. And I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna need more gaps and cracks. I think I have one spare uh, container of it down my basement. Good morning. Okay, so this is day three of insulation. And if you've watched uh, very many uh, insulation videos, you will notice that uh, the comment that almost everybody makes is that it took a lot longer than they thought it was going to. And part of that is, it, depending upon the materials that you use, of course, but this, uh, this poly board is, is kind of hard to cut. I mean, it's easy enough to cut. You know, you just have your uh, X-Acto knife and and you cut into it. But you can see how long it took me just to do that one piece up there while well, to cut it. I had already cut it off of the main board. Um, but yeah, it does take quite a bit of time, but actually I'm really kind of enjoying my time doing it. It's sort of not one of the more things that you have to like meticulously do and get everything exactly right. It's sort of just breaking off and we're not worried about it because it's going to be under the paneling and nobody's ever going to see it. You do want to do a good job at it, but you know, it doesn't matter if it gets a little jaggedy here and there, but I'm kind of enjoying doing this, uh, uh, this uh, insulation. It's kind of been fun. I wanted to pause here and do a quick review of the two different kinds of great stuff. I have the windows and doors here, and that is going to be the darker yellow and then the gaps and cracks, which comes in the uh, dark red, dark red uh, can, and that's the lighter yellow. And so the, the gaps and cracks are supposed to expand more than the windows and doors. Um, but I would like to say that the windows and doors was a lot more messy. It, uh, I got a lot more around on my floor and um, I think they did about an equal job of it, uh, and the windows and doors, I, I think they were the same size can, but I, I think that the windows and doors went further uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the build process here. Here's a wrap up of the insulation in the van. Um, I finished by putting one, ins one inch insulation on the ceiling and then I went around and I sealed up all of the places that I put the batting insulation in. Um, we'll go down here, that's the back door right there. Uh, that's got the two inch poly on it. Um, but ahead of that, in this panel here, I put an additional one inch. Um, I couldn't put it on this one because I'm planning on using this furring strip right here. You can see there's this little gap. Um, I'm going to put a, a side table that will be attached to this so that when we're laying down here in the bed, we'll have access to be able to put our iPhones and charge them. Um, but you can see across the back here, I've closed up all but a few of the um, holes and gaps there. Um, I'm leaving that open because I'm going to have a backup camera installed and I want the guys to be able to get to the wiring without having to deal with pulling anything off. Um, so it's looking really good. I think you can kind of see over here on this side too. There's that extra, here's two inch and that kind of goes flush with this, this furring strip and then this one bumps out another inch. So um, on part of the walls I've got an R15, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then here's just going forward, I've started hanging plywood and I do have uh, both of my fans in.
and um, that's what my plan is today. I should say something more clever.